Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Skid Row and Time Bomb. Now, this one passed me by, man. I mean, um, Skid Row are a big deal in rock and metal in general. Um, if you actually look at their influence, massive influence. And when you see bands bring new albums out now, a lot of the time you see for fans of you know, it could have Guns N' Roses or whatever. And a lot of the time it has Skid Row. So you can see, you know, the comparables as well. Um, the, you know, magazines and the actual record labels always bring up Skid Row because they're a really big deal. And, you know, whether their 80s, you know, their heyday didn't last that long, did it? You're talking late 80s. And then by the time Slaves of the Grind came out, they were sort of, although they brought out some more music, they were sort of um, forgotten about. But those two albums, especially the debut um, and Slave to the Grind, are a big deal in rock and metal, without a doubt. Um, and I think they've sort of become a big deal again. Um, you know, with Eric Gromwell, the brilliant singer, just one of my favourite vocalists, has been for years now, because he's been around a little while. Um, obviously with Heat, um, done some solo stuff, done some new, that New Horizon album as well this year. And he's, you know, he's just an amazing vocalist and he's brought an energy to this band. Um, and they're back, they're back in the news. They're big, big time again. So I'm loving that. But this one passed me by because it just did. It's passed a lot of other people by, I think, because the actual videos due out um, next week, I think midweek. Um, 28th, I believe, but the actual audio is already on YouTube, and you, I'd say it's passed others by as well because it's only got about five and a half thousand views, which just shows you it's just sometimes things fly under the radar. Um, so I missed it, and Robert, a uh, subscriber to the channel, suggested posted a link to me, new Skid Row song. I'm like, what? What's going on there? So thanks, Robert. So I probably, I don't know, like with many others, I haven't, didn't even know this was out. So just the audio, remember. So the video's coming out next week. So if you want to wait for the video, that's cool. Um, I can't wait for the video. I just want to hear this because I've loved the two songs, first of all. I have noticed the first two songs have really been more geared towards that Skid Row debut album. Um, my overall a Skid Row, favourite Skid Row album is Slaves to the Grind. I just think it's just a masterpiece from beginning to end. Um, but I did really like the Skid Row debut album and I like what I've, love what I've heard so far on um, these two songs. So this is the third one. Let's see what this one gives us without further ado.
let's give it a stop there. About halfway through, man. I mean, this is almost a mixture the, the two albums I'm talking about, the first two Skid Row albums. At first, the stomp of, for me, the Slave to the Grind album. Brilliant stomp right from the outset of this song. I love that. And then, um, an excellent bass line. You don't often hear bass lines like that anymore. I don't know if you guys agree, but in music a lot now, in metal, rock and metal music, especially like the more melodic side, is almost running bass lines, very simple bass lines. Boom, 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 boom. That sort of thing is the norm now, if you like. So it's unusual to hear very fucking cool bass lines like that. So that's the first thing that grabbed my attention. And of course, if you want to hear a really cool technical if you like bass line like that that you've got to have good production and you can hear the bass just rumbling away there at the bottom of the mix which is very fucking cool indeed um really catchy you know the way that the chords um are sort of coming in in that verse i love that and and eric just belting out very cool where you hear eric almost belting his lyrics out on those verses with just that bass line and, and the clarity in um eric Grommel's voice is just mental. Um, and then a chorus that just fucking opens up and so catchy. It is so catchy. I mean, I'm talking about the soaring part. You've got the tick, 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 ticking time bomb part, whatever it says um, at the end. But that soaring part, the first part of the chorus is very fucking catchy. Maybe this may be the catchiest song chorus wise, I think, that I've heard of the first three songs so far. Um, and I noticed when I was going back sometimes and some uh, comments under, I don't know if it was under my videos or under the Skid Row videos in general, worried about the songwriting. I don't know what stage Eric came in um, for this band, but people were worried. I think the songwriting, because I haven't followed Skid Row really probably after Subhuman Race. I probably didn't follow them. Again, I don't even know if I heard a song from them in that period. I may have done. But I think from what I've heard from fans is that it was the, the main thing about it is the songwriting was lacking, if you like. Because there's some great songwriting, especially on the first two albums, not even on Subhuman Race. And I think that's probably why I lost interest a little bit. I think up to that album, the songwriting was brilliant. And people were worried about the songwriting again, I think. Um, I think it's fucking great. You know, whether Eric was writing or not, I don't think he was. I don't know if he just sang over these songs. But um, what it does, it gives you real, it gives me real excitement to know what's to come because I know how good a songwriter Eric Gromwell is. So how he's going to infuse his songwriting into Skid Row, you know, but this is really cool. Almost, I'd say it's gearing still, still more towards the debut, but this has got more elements for me of that metal sound on parts of this. Um, and the rock and roll sound is there as well from the debut, but um, love it. <laughs> it's just absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love the production. I love the sound of the band. They sound exciting. Um, and Eric's lead singing in the band as well. It's revitalized the band as far as I can see. I just hope this really works out for all the members of the band and they stick with Eric for years to come because he's a a brilliant person to have as a front man. And also, I have noticed people comparing him to Sebastian Bach. Well, it's obvious they are. Um, and But I would say Eric, he's not only a great singer, he's very charismatic, he's very energetic, live. He, although I haven't caught heat, I didn't catch heat live. And I, obviously, Skid Row, not yet. But um, he's very he's sort of brings the audience in, I think he, in his own way, and Sebastian Bach was as well, very charismatic, this guy is as well, in his own right, he's fucking brilliant. Anyway, let's listen to the rest, we're just about to hear the second lot of choruses, I think, um, maybe a solo, here we go.
fucking love it, man. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. Excellent solo, almost an extended solo going into do two different parts there. That was very cool indeed. Um, Eric screams at the end, just, man, if you don't think he's the man for the job, well, oh, I don't know. You're just not giving him a chance because you just don't want to. How can he not be? I don't think there's anyone better that could have come in this place. And very cool, Eric is his favourite band, I believe, growing up. So, I mean, how fucking cool is that? I love them stories, man. Arnel Panida, Journey, Eric Gromwell, Skid Row. I mean, when you hear about those stories, you just think, how would that feel? How would that feel? I'm so happy for him after all he's been through as well, health wise. Now he's fronting his favourite band growing up. That's just amazing stuff. It really is. Um, very inspiring as well. So, congratulations to the band. Congratulations to Eric, of course. Um, the, I can't wait. I think the Gangs All Here is out next month, October, I believe. Yeah, I think it's October. I can't remember the date right now, but. Um, Another one to look forward to. Another one that's likely to creep into my top albums of the year. <laughs> my top albums of the year. I'm going to have, right, my 150 top albums of the year. <laughs> Guys, thanks for listening. What do you think of the new Skid Row song? Remember the video's out next week. So um, looking forward to seeing that. Although I think, I don't know, for me, the music is the thing for me. Um, it's cool if a, if a band bothers with videos because a lot of bands don't now. But I couldn't wait to hear this. What do you reckon of this song, guys? I'll see you soon.